Before we get famous by Shang Tzu, welcome to the prestigious channel. Today we are going over the untold secret about before we get famous by Shang Tzu. You won't want to miss any part, so stay till the end. Kindly subscribe and click the bell button. Shang Tzu, also known as the master of Kung Fu and Brother Han, is a superhero appearing in American comic books, published by Marvel Comics. The character was created by writer Steve Englehart and artist Jim Starlin, debuting in Special Marvel Edition 15, December 1973 in the Bronze Age of Comics books, and starring in his own solo title until 1983. Shang-Chi is proficient in numerous unarmed and weaponry-based wushu styles, including the use of the gun Nanchiku and Qian. Shang Chu was upon off the no list Sax Romer's licensed property as the unknown son of fictional villain Fu Manchu. In later editions, his connection to Fu Manchu was underplayed after Marvel lost the comic book rights to the latter's character. To get around his problem, the publisher eventually started calling Shang Chu's father Chang Chu. Shang Chu made his live action debut in the Marvel Cinematic Universe film Shang Chu and The Legends of the Ten Rings 2021 where he is portrayed by Simu Liu. Publication History In the early 1970s, writer Steve Angelhard and artist Jim Starlin approached DC Comics to adapt the television series Kung Fu into a comic book. As DC's parent company, Warner Communications, owned the rights to the series, DC Comics, however, was not interested in their pitch, believing the shows and the martial arts genre popularity would face out quickly. The duo then approached Marvel Comics with the idea to create a Kung Fu-focused original comic. Marvel agreed, but only if they would include the Sax Romer's pulp villain Dr. Fu Manchu, as Marvel had previously acquired the comic book rights to the character and made their protagonist half-white. Englehart and Starlin agreed. They developed Chang Chu, a master of Kung Fu, who was introduced as a previously unknown son of Fu Manchu, though an original character himself. Many of Shang Chu's supporting characters, most notably Fu Manchu, Sir Dennis Nayland Smith, Dr. James Patry, and Fa Lu Sui, were Romer creations. No characters from the Kung Fu television series were included in the comic series, though the character Lu Sin is an early issue, bears a strong resemblance to a Kwai Chung Kani with the addition of a mustache. With artist Paul Golasi, Shang Chu's visual appearance was modeled after that of Bruce Lee. According to Engelhardt, his name was influenced by his study of the I Ching composed of Shang, meaning ascending, and Chu, meaning vital energy. Shang Chu first appeared in Special Marvel Edition 15 December 1973. He appeared again in issue 16 and with issue 17 April 1974. The title was renamed to the hands of Shang Chu, Master of Kung Fu. Amidst the material arts craze in the United States in the 1970s, the book became very popular, surviving until issue 125, June 1983, a solid run that included four giant size issues and an annual. Special Collector's Edition 1 1975 cover titled as Savage Fists of Kung Fu, reprinted stories from the Deadly Hands of Kung Fu, and Special Marvel Edition 15. The character did several crossovers with other Marvel martial artists, including the White Tiger, Iron Fist, and the Daughters of the Dragon. Colin Wing and Misty Knight, he appeared regularly in The Deadly Hands of Kung Fu. Shang Chu had two more short series, The Master of Kung Fu, Bleeding Black One Shot 1990, and the Max miniseries Master of Kung Fu, Hellfire Apocalypse 2002, with artist Paul Golasi on art again. The character had two stories in the comics anthology series Marvel Comics Presents, including one by Munch that ran in the series first eight issues in 1988 and co-starred in the Moon Knight special 1992. In 1995, Shang-Chi would be one of the revival titles produced by Milestone Media. According to writer Donny McDuffie, the title would show Shang-Chi using firearms, inspired by a gun fu style by Hong Kong filmmaker John Wu. However, according to McDuffie, the proposal was cancelled after the departure of editor-in-chief Tom DeFalco and the death of Mark Grunwald the following year. In 1997, a story arc starring Shang Chu ran in Journey into Mystery 514-516 and was intended to lead into a miniseries of the character in 1998. In 2017, after a 34-year gap, Shang Chu once again starred in The Master of Kung Fu's 
126th issues as a part of the Marvel Legacy relaunch. Written by mixed martial artist CM Punk and illustrated by Dalibor Talajic. All this spun out of licensed properties. Shang Chi is a Marvel owned character and has been firmly established as a part of the Marvel Universe, with guest appearances in numerous other titles, such as Marvel Team Up, Marvel Knights, and X Men. Most of the original licensed characters in the supporting cast have been either phased out or renamed in the more recent series and stories. In some of his modern appearances, mention is made of his villainous father either in cryptic terms or using a variety of new names, due to Marvel no longer having the rights to Kung Fu Manchu. In 2010's Secret Avengers 6-10, writer Ed Brubaker officially sidestepped the entire issue via a storyline where the Shadow Council resurrects a zombified version of Fu Manchu, only to discover that the Fu Manchu was only an alias and that shang father's real name was chang an ancient Chinese sorcerer who discovered the secret to immortality. Similarly, shang half-sister Fa Lo Sui was later renamed Chang Bao Yu. In 2013's The Fearless Defenders 8, while Smith and Battery have not appeared in any Marvel properties since the end of the Master of Kung Fu series in 1983. Shang-Chi returned as the main character in the 2007 Heroes for Hire comic book. He, along with the other Asian and Asian American superheroes, became a main character in Greg Park's Agents of the Atlas series in 2019. In 2015, Shang-Chi starred in the Master of Kung Fu revival in the Secret War storyline, Written by Hayden Blackman and illustrated by Taljik, the four-issue series is a wuxia-inspired story that takes place in the battleworld domain of Kunlun, centered around shang Chu in his flight to overthrow his despotic father, Emperor chang Chu. In 2020, shang Chu started in a self-titled five-issue miniseries written by American-born Chinese author Jean Leon Young, with art by Dickin Ron and Philip Tan, initially set of the June 2020 release. The first issue was delayed to September due to the COVID-19 pandemic. shang Chu starred in a new ongoing series by Young and Ron in 2021. In March 2021, the one-shot The Legend of shang Chu was published by Elisa Wong script and Andy Tang art. In the early Master of Kung Fu issues, shang Chu's mother was an unnamed Caucasian American woman who Fu Manchu genetically selected to be mother of his progeny. The idea to make shang Chu half white was mandated by then-editor-in-chief Roy Thomas against the wishes of Egerhard and Starlin. However, all three gave varying responses for the reason behind the decision. After the early departure of Engelhardt and Starlin, references to shang Chu's mother and his mixed-race background were either downplayed or ignored entirely. Young later retconned the issue by introducing the character Chiang Li as shang Chi's mother, who was modeled after shang Chi's mother from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Plot Around a thousand years ago, Shu Wanwu discovers the mystical Ten Rings which grant immortality and godly powers. He establishes the Ten Rings organization, conquering kingdoms and toppling governments throughout history. In 1996, Wanbu searches for Talo, a village set to harbor mythical beasts. He travels through a magical forest to the village entrance, but it's stopped by guardian Yongli. The two fall in love, and when the Talo villagers reject Wanbu, Li chooses to leave with him. They marry and have two children. They marry and have two children, shang Chu and Xiaoling. Wan Wu abandons his organization and locks away the Ten Rings. When shang Chu is seven years old, Li is murdered by Wang Wu's enemies, the Iron Gang. Wan Wu dons the Ten Rings once again, massacres the Iron Gang, and resumes leadership of his organization. He makes shang Chu undergo brutal training in martial arts, but does not allow Xiang Ling to train with the others, prompting her to secretly teach herself. When shang Chu is 14, Wan Wu sends him to assassinate the Iron Gang's leader. After completing his mission, a traumatized shang Chu runs away to San Francisco and adopts the name Sean. In the present day, shang Chu works as a parking valet with his best friend Caddy, who does not know about his past. They are attacked on a bus by the Ten Rings, who steal a pendant that Li gave to shang Chu. shang Chu flies out to meet his sister, fearing that the Ten Rings will go after her matching pendant. He reveals his past to Caddy, who insists on helping him. They find Xiaoling at an underground fight club in Macau, which she founded after escaping from Wang Wu at 16. 
The Ten Rings attack the Fine Club and Wen Wu arrives to capture Shang Chu, Catty, Xiaoling, and her pendant. They are taken to the Ten Rings compound, where Wen Wu uses the pendant to reveal a mystical map leading to Talo. Wen Wu explains that he has heard Li calling to him and believes she has held captive in Talo behind a sealed gate. He plans to destroy the village unless they release her. When his children and Caddy object, he imprisons them. The three meet former actor Trevor Slattery, whom the Ten Rings imprisoned for impersonating Wen Wu, and his Hunden companion Mirrors, who offers to guide them to Talo. The group escapes and goes to Talo, which exists in a separate dimension with various Chinese mythological creatures. They meet Yingnan, Li's sister, who explains the history of Talo thousands of years ago. The universe containing the village was attacked by the soul-consuming dweller in darkness and its minions, but was saved by the Chinese dragon called the Great Protector, who helped seal the dark gate to the dweller's world. According to Nan, the dweller in darkness has been impersonating Li so that Wan Wu will use the Ten Rings to open the gate. Shang Chu, Xiaoling, and Katie join the villagers in training and preparing for Wan Wu's arrival, using outfits and weapons crafted from dragon scales. Wan Wu and the Ten Rings arrive and attack. Wan Wu overpowers Shang Chu and forces him into the nearby lake, then attacks the gate with the rings. This allows some of the dweller's minions to escape and the Ten Rings join forces with the villagers to fight them. The Great Protector revives Shang Chu and bears him from the lake to battle the minions. Wen Wu and Shang Chu fight once more and Shang Chu gains the upper hand but chooses to spare Wen Wu. The Dweller in Darkness escapes the weakened gate and attacks Shang Chu. Wen Wu saves Shang Chu, bequeathing him the rings before being killed by the Dweller in Darkness. Shang Chu, the Great Protector, Xiaoling, and Katie manage to kill the Dweller in Darkness. Afterward, Shang Chu and Katie return to San Francisco, where the sorcerer Wong summons them to Kumar Taj. In a mid credit scene, Wong introduces Shang Chu and Katie to Bruce Banner and Carol Danvers. While researching the ring's origin, they discover that the rings are acting as a beacon to something. In a post credit scene, Xiaoling becomes the new leader of the Ten Rings training women alongside men, despite having told Shang Chu that she was going to disband the organization. Thanks for watching till the end. Kindly subscribe to the channel and click the bell button to keep you updated with our future amazing videos.